Hello everyone, welcome to FinDataC. Please like and subscribe our channels below. Your support is well appreciated. In last video, we've gone through three API functions: get playlist, get market snapshot, and request history k-line. In today's video, we're going to find the hottest sector in the market using Python and API. To start off, let's define what is the hottest plate. I assume everyone has different definition, and for us, hot means the stock price surged not just in one day, but also continuously for at least a week. That is a streak of five trading days. In our example, we will divide this into two steps. We first find the top 20 performing sectors in one day. Then, among these top 20, we'll further rank them by their performance in the last five days. In today's video, we're going to go through the code line by line to help you understand. First, we import the Futu module into our environment. If you haven't installed the module before, remember to pimp install Futu API. Then, we import the Pandas module. Pandas is your best friend for data analysis in Python. Next, open quote context. This will establish connection with the Moomoo server. And now it comes down to our first API function, get playlist. A quick revision, we use get playlist to find the names of all the plate in the market. And for today's example, we will be looking at the Hong Kong market. If you want to find plate for the US market, it will be exactly the same for the code, just change HK to US in here. For plate type, we are going to look at concept. The rest of the code is just to print the result, and in the end, we close the connection to prevent our quota running out. We run the code up until this point, and here are the results. We have all the plate names here, and for example, Alibaba concept, Apple concept. If we scroll all the way down, we can see there are a total of 106 plates from Hong Kong market. So by now we have all the names of the plates. Let's go ahead and see who performs best in one day. To do this job, we need the stock code of these plates. In the next section, we will extract them into a separate variable. First, we create a new variable named data plate list. Then we run a for loop to extract the stock code into data plate list. Let's take a look at the result. And now we have the stock code in here. In the next section of the code, we are going to rank the plate by their performance in one day. Now comes to our second API formula, get market snapshot. We insert the stock code into this function to get the snapshot of the plate. Stock code here is stored in the variable named data plate list. And here's the result. For all the plates, here are their snapshots. Let's enlarge the window to take a closer look. The snapshot gives us information in one day. For example, here is the price information, open, high, low, etc volume and turnover. Let's screw a bit more to the right, amplitude, average price, and a lot more. As you can see, we have the stock code for the plates, but unless we remember the names, we don't know exactly what are these plates. So let's add back the names onto the data frame. Recall earlier, we already have the names in the variable named data. So here we use the merge function to stick the names back into our new data frame. Then we set the plate name as the index column, the first column on the left. And now we have the names, and they are on the index. Let's go on to the actual analysis to find the plate with the best performance in one day. Here we do a quick calculation of the performance. 
we divide the last price by the previous closing price, then minus 1. This will give us the price change in percentages. Then we sort the plates by the price change in descending order. Recall there are 106 plates. That's a lot, so we are only interested in the top ones, and we take a slice of the top 20. At this point, we are done for step 1. We have the top 20 performing plates, and let's move to step 2. In step 2, we'll further analyze the performance in a 5 day streak. Step 2 uses our API function request history k line to download the historical stock data. With the help of for loop, we sub in i here for the stock code of the top 20 plates. And for the time, start and end, we choose the last 5 days. The result is in a list format, which is not very user friendly. So here, we transform into the data frame with the help of the concat function. And now we can see it's in data frame format. Next, we add the names back into the data frame. And here we set the stock code, the plate name and the time key as index of the data frame. Let's take a look at the data frame. For example, for the first plate, HKBK1991, the plate name is OLED. And we have 5 days of data from July 12th to July 16th. Next, we want to find the cumulated price change in 5 days. And how do we do that? You see, right now we have the price change rate of every day as a percentage. For example, on the first day, the price increased by 1.25%, and on the second day, it decreased by 0.49%. Next, we will first transpose them from vertical to horizontal, and then also standardize the price change by 100%. Here is our formula for standardization. Don't quite get what I just said, don't worry, let me show you the result. You see, right now after the transpose, the change rate changes from vertical to horizontally distributed, and the date is on the column head. For every day's change rate, instead of 1.25%, it's now standardized and becomes 101.25%. This way, it's easier to calculate a cumulative price change across 5 days. Right now, this number represents the change rate on each day. So on the 12th of July, the top performing plate is Tesla. And on 16th of July, the top performing plate is OLED. In the last step, we'll calculate the cumulative change across 5 days. So that means the total price change in 1 day, 2 days, 3 days, 4 days, and 5 days. Here's our result. If we sort by 5 days, we can see the top 3 performing plates are ByteDance concept, Aesthetic Medicine, and Tesla concept. So let's wrap up our video for today. First, we use the function getPlateList to find all 106 plates in the Hong Kong market. Second, we use getMarketSnapshot to download the data of these plates in one day and slice the top 20 from there. In the end, we use RequestHistoryKline to get the last 5 days trading history of these plates. And then we calculate their accumulated growth or their accumulated price change. And once again, we sort them from the highest to the lowest and we find the top performer of the last 5 days, which is ByteDance Concept. Thank you for watching. If our video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe below. See you next time.